guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a haul video. Now this is a combination of Ulta, Sephora, some other websites, some drugstores. So we're gonna see a ton of different things on this haul. My friend Kat from Rented Fashion asked me a question on my video called Stuff I'm Returning. I'll throw that up in the cards. And she asked me uh, what I did with all the money that I got back for my return. So here I am to answer your question. And if you are excited for this haul, just keep watching. So the first thing I got is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. This went on sale on Ulta a few weeks ago and I was like, well, I might as well pick it up and do a first impressions video on this for you. Now this palette has been out for a while and I just never wanted to pick it up because these colors didn't really appeal to me. But you know, when it was on sale, I thought, hey, what a fun way for me to get a good deal on it, try it out, let you guys know what my thoughts are. I have so many matte shades, neutral shades. So for me, this is really not an essential in my collection. But since I was able to get it at a more discounted price, I am curious to try this out. Next thing I did pick up are these guys. These are the Moda um, like dupes for the um, artist brushes. Um, so I was excited about these. I haven't really heard much about this brand, um, but I know a lot of people on YouTube have these brushes. So I wanted to pick them up and try them out. They're 16 bucks for a whole set and I've seen them in Walmart. So if you're interested, definitely pick them up. I'm gonna do a first impressions with these and try putting on different products with them and seeing they work. I did pick up a different dupe for the artist brushes a while ago and I don't really like those because the handles are plastic. This is what the packaging looks like, by the way. The handles are plastic. So every time I tried to use those brushes, the brush would like bend. These ones feel plastic too, but they feel a little bit better made. So we'll see if it's worth the hype for it on, if you should pick these up. We'll be able to answer these burning questions at the end of that video. Uh, another thing I picked up from the drugstore are these two Wet n Wild palettes. They were $6.99 each and I've been seeing them at a local grocery store so I was like, you know what, these look like good dupes for the Naked 1 and the Naked 3 palettes. So I was interested in trying these out and see if they were good quality. I haven't really heard much about these palettes. Overall, I don't think they're going to be that great because I feel like if they were, I would have heard about them by now. But you never know, we might find some hidden gem. I thought they'd be worth a shot so I did pick them up. Next item I did want to try is the Urban Decay Long Lasting Water Resistant Lip Top Coat and they had a bunch of different colors. I actually swatched one and then um, Macy's did a sale so I thought I'd pick up one color. I kind of want to put some on for you guys. I just thought they were so pretty because they had um, like so many beautiful colors and the glitter on these was like really good so this is like an iridescent one with like a peachy undertone. It feels pretty wet on my lips. Doesn't feel like it would be very uncomfortable, but it's definitely very, very glittery. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's kind of fun. You know, I just thought I don't usually buy stuff like this, but I was just curious. So I'm going to test this out and let you guys know my thoughts. Okay, next thing that I've decided to try are these guys from Alta. This is from the new line called Models Own. I actually have a first impressions video on these up on my channel. So I'll go ahead and throw it up in the card if you're interested in checking them out. I got a few things from them. I got the Rockstar Eyeshadow Palette, the Sculpt and Glow Contour Palette in the shades Medium to Tan. And I also got two foundations from them because I wasn't sure what my color match would be. So I got Honey, Tan, and Mocha. Mocha is actually a little too dark for me, so I'm gonna keep Honey, Tan, and return Mocha. So that was exciting. Next, you guys have probably already seen this in a video as well. These are the Juvia's Place blush palettes that came out recently. I got the Volume 1 and Volume 2. These are gorgeous. I'll go ahead and link my first impressions in the card, but if you haven't seen them, this is what they look like. I really like Volume 2 on my cheeks, and I really like the shades from Volume 1, and I can totally see myself wearing these as eyeshadows as well. I just really respect Juvia's Place for coming out with two different versions because we all know not every skin tone can wear some of the lighter shades and not every skin tone can wear some of the darker shades. So I think they did a really nice job of kind of trying to cater to multiple skin tones because a lot of brands don't. A lot of things are geared towards medium to light skin tones and I feel like darker skin tones really get neglected by mainstream brands. And Juvia's Place is not as big as a lot of other brands but I really appreciate them trying to, you know, appeal to different skin tones. I think that's really smart. Two of the Makeup Forever, like those tin 
palettes for loose eyeshadows and stuff like that. They were part of my VIB haul. I forgot to include these, um, but I thought I'd show them to you now in case you're looking for alternate Z palettes or you guys have, you know, some loose eyeshadows that you need to put in. These are really affordable and really nice and sturdy. So yeah, I picked up a few backups of those while they were on sale. Next, I picked up another shade of the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. This is the shade Sanctuary. I've wanted a few of her nudes, so what I decided to do was buy them like bit by bit. It's actually the shade I'm wearing right now, minus the Urban Decay top coat, but this is a very purpley mauve shade. It's kind of very similar to the shade I'm wearing. You can see this in my first impressions video of the model's own stuff, so if you're curious, check out that video, but the color is pretty. I'm just not sure if it's like the perfect shade for me. It's like a gray mauve shade. So let me just swatch it instead of describing it to you, but that's what it looks like. I really like her formula, so I'm gonna keep trying this out, and if I end up not liking it, I'll just go ahead and return that to Sephora. Next up, I also picked up from them the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Now this I was really not impressed with off of my first impressions. I also used this in the model's own video, and I just don't understand because people rave about this Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper, and this is just not opaque enough for me. Like, when I wear liquid liner, I want it to be nice and dark. It doesn't have to be matte, but I want it to be opaque, so I think I'm just using this wrong because there can be this many people that love this eyeliner and think it's so great but it doesn't work for me so if you guys have any tips on how to get this to look more opaque can you let me know I tried shaking it I feel like that's all I should need to do but it's not working so please let me know if you guys have any ideas next I do have the cover FX illuminating setting powder in the shade medium I decided to pick this up I do have the RCMA powder and I really like that that's one of my favorite setting powders but this guy has a tint to it so I thought it would be nicer to avoid like the cakiness or even some flashback that the RCMA powder might give me. And I've been really, really liking this. The packaging is really nice as well. It has a sifter and a lid, so you can always pull it up and use the product and it just doesn't make huge mess, which I think totally justifies the price tag on these. This is a really good powder. I really like the Cover FX brand. I've never gone wrong with them. So if you're thinking about trying them out, definitely do that. This is my VIB Rouge Renewal for 2018. So this year they were giving away like a little pro brush kind of cute. I'm glad I got it. Hey, I love free stuff, so whatever, you know. They could probably do a little bit nicer of a gift, but I don't mind. So this is really nice and soft, and I just like this. It's cute. It's red, and I think this might work for, like, painting on foundation or something. I got this guy. I'm so excited. This is Here Comes the Sun from ColourPop. It's uh, another, like, cheek duo that they did, a Super Shocks cheek palette. Now, I was under the impression that they couldn't use the Super Shock formula without it being, like, airtight but they said it wouldn't be a problem with it drying out. So these are the two shades. It's like a very pretty terracotta and a beautiful highlighter. I honestly wouldn't have bought this. I got excited because I thought it was another powder palette and I wasn't thinking so I just ordered it because they were doing like free shipping as well. So it's not something I really wanted but I will put this to the test and let you guys know my thoughts. I did get this little point perk. This is the Basquiat Charcoal Makeup Melt Cleansing Oil Balm. I'm interested in trying this out. I haven't really tried a lot of the like makeup melts for instant like the Clinique one, but this was a 100 point perk, so I thought I'd try it out and see what I thought. I've never really been very impressed with the brand Basquiat, but since it was, you know, a point perk, I was like, sure, why not? I'll try it out. Next, I picked up my favorite uh, eye makeup remover. This is by the Sephora brand, and it's the waterproof eye makeup remover with cornflower extract, and you get 4.2 fluid ounces of this. This takes me forever to get through, so it's totally worth it. I think it's about $11, and it works really well. It's a little bit oily, so you have to shake it up, but I think this works really good and if you're looking for good waterproof eye makeup remover I would totally suggest that brand. Next item I picked up is this new Makeup Forever Aqua Ink Liner and this is waterproof and I just got the shade Black M10. So this is what it looks like. Makeup Forever also makes this ink liner and I've actually used this before. This is what I'm using right now. I got 10% off for shopping the VIB sale so I was just trying to pick up some backup items of things I needed. So I did get a backup but I want to try this and if this one works I'll probably return this but if I don't like this one then I'll return this and just keep this one but I'm always looking for a good black eyeliner because I like to do wing liner it's just hard to find a good one that's okay that's why I tried the Kat Von D one but so far I'm really disappointed with the Kat Von D I don't know what the hype is about so I bought three different kinds this is the one I use usually and then I was gonna experiment with these two so if I don't like any of them I'll definitely take them back I just want to keep one I'm just looking for the perfect one right now next I had to try this this is 
is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I was totally not going to get this because I really don't need any more concealer. But the hype was so real with this that I had to get it. So I got the shade Ginger. And it's a little bit lighter, so I'm going to use it for under the eye um, highlight. I'm excited to try this. Of course, it's super cute as all the NARS packaging usually is. Next of course i had to get my hands on this guy i missed it the first round so of course i had to get it on the second round this is the jeffree star manny mua collab the, this is the bundle and you guys i had to get the bundle i couldn't get them separate because i was not willing to pay the prices of anything other than the bundle this is a 50 dollars bundle and i thought it was a really good deal because then you get the lipsticks for 15 bucks each and then the highlights only 20 which is a really good deal best way to get them i think was on sale and the packaging is of course beautiful they did an amazing job with this collab. These are the two shades. I have some pictures of me wearing these on my Instagram, so definitely feel free to check them out. Daddy is not my color. It's just like too gray tone on me. It's like really dark and just does nothing for my complexion. I do like I'm Shook, but overall not my favorite Jeffree Star colors. And then as far as the highlight goes, it's okay. It's not anything like mind blowing. Um, I think it would probably look better on people with lighter skin than mine it just is a little too I don't know it's okay but like look at that swatch it didn't really swatch very well and I did hear a lot of people say it didn't swatch very well but on your skin it is definitely a blinding highlight you might have to build it up this is what it looks like in the packaging if you haven't seen it before I do own one other Jeffree Star highlighter and the consistency feels a little different this feels a little bit drier but I will do more comparisons I'll probably review this kit even though it's older older even though it's been out for like a month but it's old in the makeup world because everything changes so quickly so anyway let me know in the comments if you do want me to review it if you don't let me know as well so I know not to waste my time on it but yeah I picked that up I did pick up some of the ColourPop blotted and ultra blotted lipsticks two cents on these I really love the blotted lipsticks the ultra blotted are okay they are pretty drying and they are pretty sheer so they are they look a little like runny on your lips so that's kind of annoying and they are hard to build up but I do love the blotted lips they're so creamy they're so long last week but they definitely give you that like popsicle look and with a gloss these are just on another level so I really like these so if you're thinking about picking up like a wonderful like lightweight summer lip I would totally suggest picking up some of the blotted lips from Colourpop. I did pick up MAC Oh Darling again when Macy's was doing 10% off. This highlight I wasn't very impressed with when I first wore it I was like whatever but I think the great thing about these MAC highlighters is they sink into your skin and they just look so natural like they just blend blend into your skin. Some highlighters really like, you know, sit on the top of your cheekbones and I don't know, just with my skin tone and this color, it just like melts into my skin and it just looks amazing. So I would definitely check these out if you haven't tried out the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish highlights and I know they came out with blushes too. I probably won't be buying any of the blushes because I've realized I don't really like shimmery blushes, but I do love the highlight. The other thing I wanted to throw in this video as well is my monthly Morphe Me. So I did get I believe five brushes from them this month or four I should say so these are what they look like these are from the gunmetal collection I can tell just by looking at them so we have the G38 which looks like this it's like a nice little I don't know looks like a concealer brush these all look like they would be good for concealer this one might be good for contour this is a G40 it's like a little bit more fluffy it's like a big blending brush so might be nice for blending out the contour this is a G41. Looks like it'd be good for some nose contouring. These are really lightweight brushes. And then this last one is the G1. And this looks like a smaller buffing brush. I don't really know what I use these for, but is my monthly Morphe Me as well. So I just want to throw this in in the haul. The last two items I want to talk about is the LC Cosmetic Micro Silk Foundation and the Minimalist Palette. I do have a first impressions on this palette up, so I will go ahead and put it up in the cards. These are so fun. I'm glad I picked them up. It was fun to try these out. If you want to hear more thoughts on these, definitely check out that video. I do really like the foundation. So I have tried some of this stuff out because I've had it in my collection a little bit longer but a majority of this stuff is new. Okay guys that is it for my huge haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments on the products I talked about in this video leave me a comment down below. Thanks so much for spending time with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also check out some of my other videos. Maybe they're like down below or on the side. I would really make my day. Bye guys!